talk a little bit about Suge Knight today. Clebone Sloan, who was the one who instigated the incident at Tam's restaurant, is the one who should have been charged with felony murder. And instead, Clebone Sloan is granted immunity. And Suge Knight is charged with that crime. Now, if they can't prove criminal intent, Suge Knight walks. So what do they do? They bring in Danny Timms and they hire, the sheriffs and the DA's office hires Danny Timms to take down Suge Knight. And how's he going to do that? He's going to be in a cell near him and then he's going to lie about some conversation he had with Suge Knight that Suge Knight intended to kill Terry Carter. But Danny Timms has a change of heart because he thinks Suge Knight is a pretty good guy for whatever reason. And he decides he's going to, instead of snitching on Suge Knight and lying on him, that he's going to tell the story about the sheriffs using him in multiple cases to constantly obfuscate the truth and to lie about people and get their cases bolstered by the DA's office and by the sheriffs. And we walk back to the One Oak nightclub where Suge Knight was a victim. And at that club, the sheriffs have jurisdiction. So the sheriffs will be the ones that respond to the One Oak. And just coincidentally, there is an off-duty sheriff working security at the club. And that sheriff lets the shooters into the club that, that night and drives them and drops them off at the airport the next day. There's 38 cameras in the club. And so they capture the shooting live on video and they also have clear video of the shooters being led into the club. So there's no prosecution there of those shooters. There's no prosecution of the sheriff, although he's dismissed over a year later from the department. And we also have a clear conflict of interest because you have Richard Biddle, who is the lead investigator on this case at TAMS and the lead investigator on the case at the One Oak nightclub. And that's a clear conflict of interest. And the sheriffs can steer those investigations and decide uh, which ones they want to pursue and which ones they don't. And clearly, they're not going after the people who actually committed the crimes in both of these incidents. Clebone's granted immunity. They don't go after the shooters. Clebone's granted immunity. They don't go after the sheriff that let the shooters into the club. They only dismiss him when he should have been charged. And and so we have this pattern going on with Suge, but the pattern goes on all the way back to 1995 when Jake Robles was shot. That bullet was intended for Suge. Jake got shot. Jake died. Then 96, Tupac and Suge are targeted, and Tupac gets shot. Suge gets grazed, or you know whatever happens, he is injured in that, and bleeding from his head, and he lives miraculously survives 13 or 14 whatever bullets coming into the car that night. Suge is targeted several times since and he's targeted at the One Oak where he shot six times and he miraculously lives. Well, what's the upshot here? The upshot is this. Clearly the DA's office does not like Suge Knight. Clearly the sheriffs do not like Suge Knight. Clearly Reggie Wright Jr., Reggie Wright Sr. targeted Suge Knight. Clearly, Jimmy and Ted had a lot to gain by Suge Knight going down. Clearly, uh, Michael Harris was another one who Wayman Anderson said had targeted Suge Knight. So there are a lot of people who want to see Suge Knight put away. Well, what does that mean for you and me? For you and me, this is about our civil rights. And if Suge Knight, who everybody knows is a thug, okay, he's not on trial for any of the other things that he is alleged to have done. He's not on trial for the murder of Eazy E. He's not on trial for the murder of Tupac Shakur. He's not on trial for the murder of Biggie Smalls. All things that he's never even been charged with. There are allegations swirling around the internet that he had something to do with. Well, you look at the O.J. Simpson trial. 
O.J. Simpson is declared innocent by a jury of his peers, and he's allowed to walk out of court. But when he gets into an altercation in Las Vegas, they throw the book at him. They actually try him for Nicole Brown Simpson's murder in Las Vegas, even though he's really just being charged with theft. And now this many years later, they've stolen how many years from O.J. Simpson. It's really kind of something for us to look at with Suge. They're trying to do the exact same thing. Now, I'm not saying Suge Knight's a good guy. I don't know Suge Knight. I've never met Suge Knight. I've heard mixed things from people that I know that know Suge Knight. But I am saying this. I'm saying that it should alarm you. An alarm bell should be going off on this because Suge Knight is not being treated fairly. He's given a bail that does not match the crime that he allegedly committed. He's being denied access to investigators. He's being denied access to attorneys. He's being denied access to his family. These are all clear rights violations of Suge Knight, and it should alarm you, because if they can take the rights away from Suge Knight, then you're next, or your family's next. And fighting for Suge Knight to get his basic human rights, basic civil rights, is fighting so that you get your basic civil rights, your basic human rights. And I would just encourage all of you, we need 100,000 people to start making phone calls, sending emails, sending tweets to the Justice Department, to the ACLU, to the sheriffs, to the uh, prosecutors in this case. And we need to demand that Suge Knight be treated fairly in this case. Because if Suge Knight can get a fair trial, and we know Suge Knight's reputation, then that restores liberty and justice for all in this country. And we should always want liberty and justice for all. Everybody, get behind helping Suge Knight get a fair shake in this, because it's the right thing to do. Stomach full of beer and I ain't gonna eat The whole damn street just full of them sheep Blow to the beat like toast to the heat Toast to the street from the coast to the beach Never be a pop when I'm close when I speak Never gonna stop when I float to the streets Never had hope so say the drama Had to sell dope just to pay for karma Imagine being broke to your baby mama And your mama's mama gotta make the commas Drama fine, you're full of snakes, piranhas Never trying to put that hatred on you While the angels are having waiting on you Freddy Krueger to a Judas with the Jason on you You must know before you're acting